We are here with the man of the night uh, for the Zags, Chet. First of all, congratulations on a Thank nice team win. Would it be Thank fair you. to say that for you the game started a little quietly? Uh, yeah, started a little slow, uh, you know. Wasn't looking to force anything, uh, just kind of reading the game, figuring out where, you know, I can uh, affect the game and get my touches in. And, uh, you know, when I came in, got my second wind uh, after coming out for a minute, uh, you know, I felt uh, pretty comfortable and uh, started getting my looks. Yeah, if the idea was to figure out where you could impact, I think you figured it out. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, that. By the way, if that was your second wind on that, that seven-minute spurt where you had nine points, what would you describe the 11-point, one-minute, and 38-second spurt that you had in the second half? What goes through your mind when you're in that kind of rhythm, that kind of flow? Uh, you know, just – you know, how great my teammates are. You know, Ra, he was telling me, you know, they can't guard you. You know, he's telling me, you know, get my looks in. And, you know, they were finding me too, so all credit to them. Uh, you know, if they're going to find me, you know, i got to deliver. So, You know, when you look at your game, how would you assess yourself and where you think you've grown the most from the start of the season until where you're at right now? Uh, just, you know, figuring out how to blend with the team. Uh, you know, this is my first year in, you know, uh, a brand-new uh, environment with brand-new system, brand-new players, brand-new coach. Uh, so, you know, just figuring out where I fit in uh, and, you know, how I gel with the guys, uh, you know, I feel like I'm starting to put it together. Did you almost hit your face on the rim on one of those alley-oops? Uh, I felt like I was looking <laughs> in the rim for sure, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what is Andrew Nemhar? We talked about him from the start of this game. What does he mean Man, to this program? Everything. You know, he's, he's, he has the ball in, the, in his hands most of the game, so, you know, he's facilitating. He's running what we do, and, you know, he does it to a T. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a better point guard in this nation, and, uh, I think uh, a lot of people need to put a lot more respect on his name, for sure. You know, we have a lot of respect for Mark Few and the things that he's done in this program. There was a little moment we showed. You came out of the game for the final time. He sort of wrapped his arm around you and had a minute with you. Can you share a little bit of what you two were talking about? Uh, yeah, the last couple games, uh, I've had a couple stretches where, you know, I hit a couple threes. And, uh, you know, when you hit a couple threes, sometimes uh, he'll allow you to get to a heat check, and I haven't gotten to it. Uh, in this game, I got to my heat check and uh, I airballed. So, <laughs> and then I uh, also had a little bit of uh, uh, celebration, which uh, you know he told me just let your game speak for itself, and uh, you know you don't need to talk or do anything else. So, you know, just listen to him. He's one of the greatest coaches, you know, to do it at the college level. He's been doing it forever. Uh, so, you know, whatever he says, you know, I'm just trying to soak it all up. I don't want to supersede your head coach. He is a Hall of Famer, <laughs> but I think you could celebrate. You play like you you did tonight. I think you could celebrate. A yeah, little bit. he just wants me to celebrate within the team. You know, not try to. You know, do anything out uh, outside the team, to the other team, to the fans, nothing like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that was as fun as we see. We'll see you on Saturday uh, in Provo. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chet. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.